This program has been made possible in part by Barry Klein and Laura Bryant are back to tell us all about knitted ruffles in fabric. Welcome, you guys. Hi, Uri. Thanks to see you. This is such a, a delicious looking table. It's the dimension of the ruffles is yeah, really fantastic. Yeah, and of course, ruffles, as we were saying before, are all over, mm -hmm. ready to wear these days. We're loving it. Barry showed us um, lots of fun self ruffling yarn. Mm -hmm. In another segment, but here we're talking about actually knitting the ruffles on. And what that gives you is a little more control over color. Mm -hmm. Because and you're making it with whatever yarn you right, want to. Exactly, right. and yarn choice because you're making it with whatever yarn you want to. So you can coordinate yarns as has happened in this sweater. You can use mohairs, you can use lots of different things. So it's great because you can do everything from a teensy little edge, like mm -hmm. we've done with I think just four rows of Angora on the neck of this sweater, mm -hmm. to these deep ruffles that are on this mohair shawl. Or something that starts to approach a flounce. A flounce. Mm -hmm. So the longer a knitted ruffle gets, the more it looks like a flounce. Mm -hmm. The shorter it is, the more it's a little stand-up kind of a guy. And how, uh, how do you guys attach the ruffle to the knitted piece? You always want to put a knitted ruffle onto an existing edge, mm -hmm. meaning you don't want to have live stitches. You don't want to get to the end of your shawl and then say, oh, now I'm going to have a ruffle. Mm -hmm. Because if you do, you're mm -hmm. going to get what happened at the bottom of this sweater. Oh, where the knitting has actually spread it's the ruffle spread out. because the right, right mm -hmm. the knitting the ruffle spreads the knitting out. Actually, is mm -hmm. what happens. And no matter what kind of yarn you would have used, the mm -hmm. same effect would have been in place. What you need by having a firm edge is something that's going to hold it in place, and the ruffle spreads out from there. Right. And this would be a good time to remind everybody that a, a ruffle is just a longer piece of knitting. Correct. A ruffle starts with fewer number of stitches and mm -hmm. increases a bunch to more stitches. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes it goes the other way, but not that often. Mostly it starts small mm -hmm. and goes bigger. And um, you can control how big your ruffle gets by how many increases you put in. Mm -hmm. uh, typically, increasing every stitch across will give you a ruffle like the one that's on the shawl, which mm -hmm. is kind of a gently undulating ruffle. Mm -hmm. And you also want to be careful the kind of needles that you're using. This really cries out for circular needles of any kind, because with your stitches mm -hmm. gaining ground, you know, going from mm -hmm. 10 to 20 mm -hmm. to 40 up to 80, you're going to get a lot of stitches very quickly. And you don't want to use double points where you're sliding them right. from needle to needle. Too much right. of a chance for stitches to fall off. Right. So if you prepare material-wise, you'll be in really good shape to do your ruffle. That's yeah. a great tip. So the more stitches you have, the ruffler your ruffle yes. is. The, right. right. That's exactly right. So you want to do your ruffles onto mm -hmm. a cast-on edge, onto a bound-off edge, or onto a selvage. So a firm. A firm edge. edge. Exactly. So exactly. tell us what's happening here. This is beautiful. This shawl was... Um, Knitted in feather and fan, mm -hmm. which gives you these a nice lace undu stitch. Right, mm -hmm. undulating um, waves. And when you get to through one section of the repeat, you increase, knit to the end of the ruffle, and bind off. Mm -hmm. You then push the ruffle down, go back to the base of it, and pick up the correct number of stitches for the pattern repeat, and knit another oh, set that's of pattern great. repeats. So they're so really you just keep repeating knitted right it. in. It's integral. Mm -hmm. The hand of the fabric is fabulous. Mm -hmm. Very so, nice. And then on these, these are the type of ruffle that you were talking about where they were actually added After afterwards. the fact, exactly, after the fact. And this is um, only a few rows. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take much to give that little roughly edge. So on something like the scarf, you would finish knitting the scarf and then pick up all then the way around? Then you would around. pick up all the way around, exactly. That's exactly and right. Part of what makes that fun is the yarn choice. In that mm -hmm. case, it's Angora. So you get what they call like a halo effect. You get a little bit of hair that comes out of it, and it alters the colors. And this is another version of it, where instead of it being attached to something, it is just an individual piece. This is a great little ruffled accessory it's, scarf. And it's, this is the pattern that's on the website. Yes, and this is actually two ruffles, which is oh, what we're going to show you how to pick up. You make one ruffle, mm -hmm. and then you go back and you pick up into the cast on edge. Before so, we show this yes. a little bit, um, I love what, Barry, you were saying about the yarn choice really mattering to the ruffle. Right. I wanted to just look at this and just how different the ruffles can be, you know, if it's a light mohair or something like this, right. 
which is really just a fun. You want to make sure that the yarns have some elasticity to them. Take the yarn and pull it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Make sure it bounces back because it will help keep the ruffle in place. If you use something that's very limp, Mm -hmm. you won't get a great ruffle. It'll always ruffle, but it won't be as pretty as something. Well, and that's actually very interesting because this particular yarn doesn't have a great deal of elasticity. So what we've done is to make a much longer ruffle mm -hmm. becoming a flounce, mm -hmm. and you can see that it has, it is, it's limp. It doesn't have a lot of body to it, but by being longer, mm -hmm. it just then lays in gentle folds, and which is, is appropriate way, to that yarn. There is a way to fix that, isn't there? When well, uh, yes, there actually is a clever fix. If, in fact, you find yourself with something that you don't believe me, <laughs> and you went ahead and you mm -hmm. did a ruffle on an end where it's just spreading, mm -hmm. what I've actually done is to thread thin cord elastic through this edge, and if you pull on the elastic, uh -huh. you can tighten this edge. Mm -hmm. You could also go in with a, a slip stitch Mm -hmm. and just chain with a crochet hook on the inside edge to draw it in. So you do need to have that firm edge, otherwise you're getting way right. spread. So anything to restore kind of the gather. Some integrity, yep. Okay, right. well great, show us what you're going to do. Okay, so you start by knitting the first half of the ruffle, which I've already done here. Mm -hmm. So this is actually a full ruffle. This is a full ruffle, this is a half of the scarf, mm -hmm. basically. and. Because it's so important that you start with that cast on edge, mm -hmm. I, have, I did that. I cast on and I doubled the number of stitches. And you can see, by the way it's laying on the needle, how roughly it's going mm -hmm. to be. Now I've picked up most, this is obviously not long enough for a scarf, mm -hmm. but I've picked up most of the stitches across, along this particular piece. Mm -hmm. And the interesting thing here is that the next row does not have to be picked up and then doubled. You actually can pick up in each cast on stitch and in the space between stitches. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've cast on there, and now I'm going into the base of the stitch. So you're picking up, up twice sorry, as many stitches. Up. Right, so you're picking up the increased number of stitches. Okay, that's fabulous. So that's a, um, that means you don't have to turn and then do the mm -hmm. increase row. So you save a step. You save a step. And right. then you would just turn and knit the rest of your ruffle. Yes, now I've picked up on a smaller needle. Mm -hmm. And I see that you've got bigger needles right. here. It's really hard to pick up on this larger needle. Mm -hmm. Because this is a scarf, I wanted it to be a softer fabric, so I knit it on these larger needles, but the pickup I did on a smaller needle. Well, that's fabulous. Thank you so much, you guys.